Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Wealth Couch with me, Bisileto M. Quick house rules. If you haven't liked, you haven't commented, if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't shared the content, I really hope this video is going to convince you to do all of that. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give out financial advice. I'm not a wealth manager of any sort. But in this channel, we do talk about ways on how to actually create generational wealth types of businesses they know what people can tap into they know what might create um generational wealth for you and the next generations right whatever i say take it with a pinch of salt consume it like you're eating fish always looking out for the bones and one last thing always do your own research on what i say what i say is not the golden it's not the golden truth it's not the bible truth right do your own research all righty let's get into it so today let's talk about creating generational wealth for your child right quick definition um, so generational wealth is basically passing down assets, right? They will create, they will create, they are create, um, what's this? These are assets, they will create money or rather revenue, right? These assets generate money and then you can also pass down money as well. So that is general, that's like an open closed definition here yeah, generational wealth right i need us to understand or we don't need to live in in poverty or rather you as a parent you don't necessarily need to live in poverty just so your children can live a soft life it it doesn't really need to be that way when it comes to generating wealth, you look at strategies, they are smart and easy. Like it's, it's all about the work smart approach when it comes to generating wealth. You don't have to work yourself to the bone just to create generational wealth for your children. You don't have to do that. So the importance of generational wealth, right? Wealth gives you options. So for example, if you don't want to, you can either have breakfast at home or you can have breakfast at, at a restaurant, right? And the type of restaurant also counts. That's what wealth can uh, give a person. Wealth can give a person an option to either quit their job or not, right? You can quit your job because you know your bills are going to be taken care of. You don't necessarily need to stay at a job. A long is not good for your mental health. Is not good for you, and you are also not happy because you are probably not growing the way you want to grow. That's what generational wealth means, you know. And that's why it's important. It it gives you it gives you options in life. And if you don't have options in life, you better start working hard. <laughs> you really better start working hard. All right, let's let's talk about. How now do you build generational wealth for your children to inherit? Invest in your children's education. We come from a generation, our parents didn't talk about money. It was, it was a taboo to talk about money. Right now, the kids we're raising, that's a different breed. That breed you can... Sit down with them and tell them, this is what I mean. I have money, but chalete eo is, for example, for rent or it's for your school fees. It's not money that is just laying around for you to say, okay, um, if you want like a meal from Biobab, you can get, no. Mm -mm. That's not what it, what it means. All right, invest in in your 
Invest in your children's education. Right now, a whole lot of financial institutions and banks as well. Bakhofa an option to actually start investing in your children's education the minute they are born. Literally the minute they are born, you can open up an account for your child even if either an account or a trust fund. All right, a bank account or a trust fund. You open it up for for Banabaha so that come the time they actually need that money, it's available for them. Topics like what a what a want is and what a need is is what we need to start. Those are the conversations we need to be having with our kids right now. What saving is what giving back means. Those are the types of conversations we should be having with our children. All right. The next one: invest in the stock market. So, not everybody has the time to learn about easy equities and learn hori what what equities are selling, what equities are good, what equities can make a whole lot of money for you. Like, not everybody has that time. Hence, right now, there's financial institutions say, Longhore, they will do the wiring for you. Obviously, at the fee, but they will do the wiring for you. And that's the nice thing about working things that are evolving right now around us. The world is evolving, and because of that, you have people by Longhore will do all those things for you. Invest in real estate. Guys, hey, how to invest in real estate? It doesn't necessarily. It doesn't only mean like go buy land and build a house. There. No, you can literally build the room, back rooms, and you'll make money from that. You can that flat you've been eyeing. You can buy it. Lefatsi lelo goma kaying that you've been eyeing. You can buy that and build. That's investing in in. Barking in real estate, those shares that you've been seeing on easy equities and on other platforms, you can invest in that. That's a horror. Okay, let's invest in real estate. It literally just means that. Now, when it comes to investing in real estate, um, real estate, these are assets selling for they increase in value over time, they don't necessarily depreciate. Right, and these are the assets that you need in your life. You really need in your life, right? The next one: um, create a business to pass down. Right now, you've you've got options. You can either create a business or you can buy a business. Like there's people buying over there in the business of buying businesses. Um, buy your hoodiesa. You know, they, they modernize the business, make it what everybody else wants. And then from there, they sell it for a profit. And that's the that's their business. That is what they operate in. And when it comes to that, I like it because you don't necessarily have to force your child to actually be in the family business. That way, Mwanahao has, there's a whole lot of options saying so your child can be involved in the, in the family business. So they'll have contributions to to the family business but okay this is what is popping right now like um restaurants that have such an aesthetic or the car wash it's in a link aesthetic so or such machinery um let's buy car wash it's it's just kick how much and and then you buy it and you actually upgrade it after you upgrade it you sell it and you that's the profit that's literally the business that you're making that is your business. That way, Lingwa Nahao has an opportunity to say, okay, I, I want to be in this business or I don't want to be in the business. Because when you're buying and selling, you're literally just doing it for the profit, nothing else. Take advantage of life insurance. On this channel, I've spoken about advantages and disadvantages to life insurance. I'm not going to talk about it now because I've spoken about it before. So go through the, the channel. Go through the videos. I have it's one of the early videos that I did. Look at that video. Trust and believe there's a whole lot of insights there. So let's let's now talk about passing down. 
right? The generational wealth. Guys, please write a will. Honestly, like, oh, honestly, like, write a will. Lerutlokala in so much drama, Lerutlokala in so many fights, because you don't have wills. If you don't write a will, so everybody knows you what your wishes are. Write a will, so everyone knows how. You want your children to be raised going forward if they are minor children. Write a will so you don't leave your children in a great mess and poverty. Because if you have worked your ass off, if you have worked hard to make sure Khurban Abahao are left with a legacy, protected by all costs, protected by all means. Make sure for nobody is going to come out of nowhere and actually claim what is meant to be if you're failing to do this the state will do it for you and trust and believe nothing good is going to come out of that nothing good is going to come out of that set up a trust a trust fund yes it's expensive I stand to be corrected but it is expensive Set up a trust fund for Banabahao. Make sure there's beneficiaries saying who you have named. So if your children are minors, make sure you have put people that you can trust in place. Okay. Up until Banavaka Batswara 18 or 21. They'll have access to the money. But in the meantime, this is how I want the money to be spent this is how i want the money to be allocated this is how i want the money to be distributed right you set up a trust fund so that you still have control even if you're six feet under if you don't put those things in place you're leaving us with drama you're leaving your children in poverty you're leaving your children mama tating i could have been avoided by all costs Name account beneficiaries. This way, if Unale a name for, if you've got beneficiaries for your estate, it makes it so much easier. It saves a whole lot of time. It reduces the drama. And it also saves money on your end. It really does. Make sure, Hore, you leave your assets, you leave your money with with people who were there when you were working hard, with people who understand what you had to go through, with people who were there when you were accumulating these assets, whether it's your children or family members or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's all about your children, so yeah. One last thing, proper estate planning is an essential part of passing down generational wealth. So make sure Hore, you you are in contact you are in contact with an estate um an estate attorney so that estate planning how is so solid there's no loopholes. Even if people want to take each other to court. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen because you would have the last to say even six feet under. Even six feet under. The money situation in Moelongre, people are dying and their affairs are not even in order. Just because you're thinking about life insurance doesn't mean you're going to die tomorrow. It doesn't mean you are calling death upon yourself no it just means you're actually smarter you you are you're planning for the future as much as you can plan for everything else plan for your death you won't be around forever make sure your children don't have to suffer make sure your children are able to say our parents left us 
in a very comfortable situation. They didn't leave us with their problems. They didn't leave us to start from the beginning. Don't make the mistake of actually making your children start from zero. Even if you started from zero, it doesn't mean your children need to start from zero. I want to make a thinking and they'll fill it up going forward. Just because when you started to receive doesn't mean the rest of the world needs to. Your children deserve better. They really do. I'll see you guys on the next one.